I was asked to come out and evaluate three white European birch trees to try to determine why they are dying or why are they turning brown. My first observation that the trees look like they have a very good structure and it does not appear that there's ever been any harsh pruning done on these trees. They've never been topped. They are in a lawn, so I'm presuming that they get an adequate amount of irrigation. All three of the trees were planted fairly close together, which is consistent with the landscape practice. Um, it's an aesthetic issue. I don't wholly agree with it, but it's frequently done. Uh, it appears that uh, the rocks have uh, plastic or some kind of a, it looks like some kind of a weed barrier that is right up against the base of the trees. I'm not sure what the sprinkler system is like. I'm going to assume that the sprinklers probably hit the trunks of the trees. I was told that the gardener had gotten in here and done some excavating and the base of the tree does appear to have some uh, underground decay. You know, I'm looking at the rocks and interestingly, if you look at many of these rocks, it appears that there was some kind of material poured out on these rocks. This is either paint or something from the stucco. So it is very possible that the people that may have done the, the work on this house cleaned their brushes or their equipment in here, and there may be a toxicity associated with something that was poured out. Uh, that's just a guess, but um, I'm looking for evidence. There's always a bit of detective work involved in trying to figure out why a tree is declining or why it's suddenly changed. So a lot of the information that I try to glean from the client is, is what were the sudden changes, what, uh, what happened to the trees. And he said it was uh, very rapid. Now the soil around here does seem to be very, very wet. Um, I, I cannot see any indications of any fungal growth or any uh, organisms that would be associated with uh, wood decay, but that doesn't mean that that's not happening. The shapes of these trunks seem to be a little bit more convoluted than normal. Uh, there are a few trunk cankers uh, in certain trees that show themselves in kind of a, a swelling, and it's really hard to recognize. Uh, but there's usually some weeping associated with a, a trunk canker. So it, while it's a possibility, I, I, I'm still looking for evidence. Now when you're trying to assess whether a tree is um, dying or whether it's just had a sudden change, you have to look at the twigs. And in this case, there is uh, a very noticeable drying out in the twig structure. You can see it's a little bit wrinkled. There is some f snapping. You can see it's, there is a, a definite loss of, of moisture. So I believe that this tree is probably going to continue to decline. I'm looking for any evidence of buds or any healthy development um, and I cannot see any. So whatever has killed this tree I think has done a good job of it. And I'm looking at this weed barrier right here. And weed barriers are really good, but they should never be right up around the base of the tree because they'll actually keep it moist in an area that needs to dry out. Um, while these trees like water, they don't like, you know, constant wet and they don't like a constant amount of, of moisture in the ground. So I, I believe that the weed barrier may be a contributing factor to this. Uh, my guess, uh, you know, without doing some you know, intensive soil testing is, is I believe that uh, the washout contributed to it and uh, possibly the trees uh, were suffering from you know some basal crown rot from being too too wet. It appears to be a weak area down in through here as well. You, know, you can certainly tell when you cut the trees down and, and I'm gonna guess that they're, they're gonna be real punky on the inside. Um, but there really aren't any real clear signs. So that's my best evaluation. I've looked at everything and 
Usually the answer jumps right out at you, but not in this case. I think you have a combination of problems. Yeah, and finally, um, I was told that there was a very large tree in this area. When you plant another tree on top of where there was an old root system, there's a lot of changes that go on in the soil. It's usually got a high wood content and, and oftentimes there's a lot of uh, wood decay organisms that grow rapidly through the decomposition of the old stump material. So that could be a contributing factor as well. It's usually not just one problem, it's multiple of problems. So I hope this helps.